But today is a very special day because today is the day that France officially reopens at I think like maximum, not maximum capacity, but at least everything reopens. I was just giggling because there is an Indian restaurant downstairs that I have not seen open since I've been here and it is open and there are like even a terrorist situation happening. I don't know because we are going to chalet with a few of my friends and it is crazy nuts bananas down there. So if I have to film on my phone, forgive me in advance. Um, I try to only take my camera out when I feel like I'm not going to get it like snatched or I can like watch or whatever. So we're going to head down there. I'm going to take you guys with me. Let's go. This is today's outfit of the day. Boots. I still have to wear the mask though. They're never going to give up for that. They're always shopping. It is real ice. <laughs> when what? The meat that you have like it's like still red. <laughs> <laughs> to do two things today. One, I have this film that I purchased. It's a special film that is made on paper. A Japanese was uh, Japanese paper backed. And so it needs to be developed in paper developer. I dropped it off to two labs. Both labs have said no. Oh yeah, we can't do it for another three weeks. And I'm like, that's not gonna work. I leave for New York in like three weeks. So yeah. Yeah, life update. Going back home, moving back to New York. Really excited to get back in the city. Been making some really nice connections, and I feel like, um, yeah, new chapter, over chapter. I don't know. I miss my city. So, with that being said, I am on a dead sprint to see as many museums as I can because, as you know, Paris was closed. It locked down when in uh, I want to say September. I remember I posted a video where I was like trying to run to see a museum. Museums have not been open since that video. So I'm gonna run over to the Petit Palais, take you guys with me, then head to campus, try to develop that film, and then meet my friends again for tacos because they found a new taco place on TikTok. So, let's go. Unfortunately, that museum is closed, the Grand Palais, so I'll have to visit that when I come back with my mom. But the Petit Palais over here is open. I'm so excited. These big gold doors are open up here, which they usually never are. But I mean, just look at it. Okay, so this is a problem. I'm running out of time and I have not seen this whole entire museum yet. Don't wear these shoes when y'all come here.
Okay, so the artist said this is entitled Layals. Oh my god, nothing has changed in Paris because it is just as crowded, always. I think there's enough space for me to move in. Just a little corner, that's all I need. You want a quiche? No. No, there was no discount. <laughs> So the weather is gray there and blue there. We keep getting caught in the rain. But we found a taco spot. Taco, taco, taco spot. They do look good. Today we are going to the Musée de l'Orge. Allez! I'm back home and these are my souvenirs for my sister. She loves sweatshirts. Uh, my best friend Kate. And then I got my mom this bracelet. This is way more her style than a t-shirt. And then I got this book um, that I'm going to read on the bus ride and on the plane because I'm taking a day trip somewhere mysterious. But I feel like this was an interesting book. I'll read like the top excerpt. It says... When Cordy's dinner is interrupted one night by a distress call from her sister, Ayola, a look, I'm not going to lie that I know how to say all these African names, but we're going to say Aya. She knows that it was, is expected of her. Bleached rubber gloves, nerves of steel, and a strong stomach. This will be the third boyfriend that Aya has dispatched in self-defense. And the third mess that her lethal little sibling has left her to clear away. And then I was like, I want some soda, so I stopped at the store and I got two more of these drinks. I don't know if you remember the last time I talked to you guys, I tried this one and it was really good. So I actually got the lychee flavor as well as the raspberry. Okay, I switched to my phone because the autofocus on my 50 millimeter is really, really weird. It does whatever it wants, but let's test out the lychee version of this. It's good. It has that like the skin of the leech. I don't know if this makes any sense. So like when I eat leche, I feel like the outside part tastes different than the inside part, right? Like the part that touches the skin versus the part that touches the pit. And I feel like I can taste a little bit the after part that touches the skin, which is really, really specific. It's not bad, but I definitely like the raspberry one better. I should probably drink some water.
These pretzels are My dogs are barking, they hurt so much. Hey y'all, hey, it's your girl Candace, and I'm here today because we are going on a day trip. So I saw this girl on TikTok video that she posted saying she couldn't sleep one day from Paris, so she booked a trip to go up to the north of France. And honestly, like I've, Thoroughly been enjoying my time here in Paris, but I'm trying to squeeze in one more like day trip. So I'm just gonna go up for the day for a few hours. The bus ride is about three hours there, three hours back. I brought a book so that I can read it. Um, and I'm just gonna explore. My last full day in Paris is tomorrow and my classmates and I are gonna go to the Musée d'Orsay. And so I'm just gonna enjoy this day. It is super rainy and like dreary right now. But the weather says that it's supposed to get sunny, especially when we go up. So, let's go. No one is on the streets, from what I can see. bus back only comes every 54 after the hour so if I miss this one then I won't be able to get the next one back and then I'll probably miss my bus back to Paris which is what we're trying to avoid so I'm gonna like fly through this little teeny town to grab some pics and then head back towards the other bus guys we've made it back home um quick rundown of the day so it is literally 8 45 and the bus was supposed to get back around seven a little bit before seven so i was hoping i could go to the film store and pick up my negatives but i can't and they're closed on sunday and i leave on monday so i'm um, these film negatives are just lost luckily i paid for scans so i do have scans um for my last day but 
overall, I'd say location 10 out of 10. I'm actually upset that I didn't get to spend more time there because um, the girls video on TikTok that I followed never mentioned that you ride this one bus up three and a half hours and it lets you off at a location that you have to take another bus ride either an hour up the coast or drive to get to the other each like the actual Etip versus the Leia where I'm not even saying these right where I was at um the, the both locations I would say 10 out of 10 I definitely like Etip better just because it was super cute um and it was very busy and it looked like both of them looked very family friendly areas um I would say I cannot recommend the bus on the way up it wasn't that bad but on the way back it was filthy dirty I cannot stand seeing dirty windows. There were like head prints on the windows. There were like cigarette buds in the aisles. You could tell they hadn't cleaned that bus. If you were going to take this trip from Paris, you, there are trains. I would recommend you probably take the train. It's quicker. It's probably a little bit more convenient just because there's also train stations, I think, up in Itri because it, it lets you off at a train station, I think. Um, so the tram dropped me off at the beach, which was the first beach you guys saw. And then we rode, I was like, this isn't really what I wanted. It wasn't the area. And I Googled quickly where I needed to be. So it was bus number 13. It took me up there. Um, and the day pass covered. It was like 420, 4 euros and 20 cents for the day, which isn't bad. I highly, highly advocate that you drive or rent a car if you can. Because on the bus, I did see a lot of chateaus and places where you could like pull off and see historical sites that if you're in a car you can definitely do and see and I feel like it'd be so worth it plus you can go directly there and spend more time like I didn't even just go to the gardens which I had been dreaming about with those big brown space sculptures I just did not have enough time like I I would definitely do at least two days at least two full days in that little area just because there is a lot to see there you can definitely take two full days and see everything Anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. We are almost ready to go. And tomorrow is another day. And then we'll be home. Look at the pizza. It looks good. But now we're packing. Hey, girl. Hey, it's your girl, Candice. And I'm here today because guess what? It is my last day in Paris. Yes, I know. So excited. So, um, like bittersweet so to speak i am so late i'm supposed to be at the museum at 9 30 it is now 9 15. I'd have that clock. I would have that clock. Has the whole experience, you know? The walking, the yeah. But we could also walk along these clothes at the donation bin so now i'm gonna go see them for the last time huh. the free water of paris
trees and have bikes. That is the one thing we will find out. There, my girl. But I wanted more, but I said I wouldn't. Like the bows. Mm -hmm. Those are super cute. Candace, you want that? I'm okay. What do you need? You need anything? <laughs> Just living life. <laughs> we got an idiot, y'all. Jumped in the sand. Good. Oh man, he's getting in trouble for jumping in the water. I think he's gonna get a ticket. You no know, French people like to argue, they're gonna be here for a while. Cute little ball guy though. Progression in the story goes. They go to Popo. Where so are you pretty. from? I'm from Poland. Poland? Yeah, and they're from the United States. Where are you? Like, 